everyone thinks of cycles in life with hormones, you know, um, and the most obvious one is like hormonal cycles for females and menses and, you know, the 28 day cycle. And then we have, um, you know, maybe our, our yearly cycle of, you know, sees different hormones responding to winter and temperatures and that kind of stuff. Um, and so we can also have an instance where, um, women can be especially reactive or have a specific reaction to treatment, to an intervention, to an exposure in this small window of a few days within their cycle. And I always tell people like, give it a few cycles. Like you have to move through not only your big global cycle, but also your small monthly cycle, your small daily cycle. And even you have a 90 minute cycle. No one talks about this. You have a 90 minute cycle. It's mind blowing. And so in order for people to really, um, it's like clearing the clock or circling the clock. Like I really find it's important for people to maintain like a health or an intervention or something through all of the cycles nested within one another. I hope that makes sense with what I'm trying I, to convey. I'm, I love what you're saying because there's so much truth to that between each cycle is a renewal. And then between each renewal is a, is a new place to move forward into. I tell my patients, um, think about it as, as different layers. And I, and I think about it as a circle, like an atom actually, where there's different valences and, right, and it's, right, right. So someone can be here in the atom at, at, at this lower level, but then you give a treatment and, and they reach a higher level, but then it might slip down a little bit more, but then as they complete a cycle, whether it's the menstrual cycle or the 90 minute cycle or a sleep cycle in particular, they reach back up and they, and they, they show a new valency, right? It's a new level that they can be in a new level of homeostasis. And so as the cycles complete, the new levels of homeostasis change right. usually for the better. Right. Yeah. And I don't, I don't want people to get too like bogged down in how like esoteric it sounds like it's really like biochemical. There are hormones that manage each one of those things that Nafisa just listed off, you know? So um, yeah, I'm getting goosebumps talking about my cycles now. <laughs> it's, so, right. it's so, it's so exciting to share with people. It's so important. So it's like, Thanks. you know, I never expect people to, to push through modalities um, yeah. but I might try to help ease people so we can at least try to make it through a cycle or whatever cycle is really being the most impacted, you know, at that moment in time. 